Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. Today we are going to learn about the how to install the IntelliJ IDEA from the scratch. And this is the latest version. Basically, we are going to install, guys. So what exactly we have to do? I already released one more vi one video, uh, like two, four, five months back about the IntelliJ IDEA installation. But that one is the old version uh, installation we 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 was doing. So right now, what exactly we have to do, guys? Simple. I need to go. The search the IntelliJ IDEA in Google and we need to we need to go to the official website of the IntelliJ IDEA. So once I click on this uh, link, so we are going to land it on the jetprince.com website. Okay, so here you can see guys uh, like this is an official website we have. If you are going to click on this download options, you can directly land it on this thing. Okay, you can directly able to land it on these things basically. Okay, now what what is the main thing? What exactly main thing we have to do here? Once we landed on this thing, you can see guys, these are the two versions you can see over here. First one is ultimate and second one is community version, community edition basically. So if you want to watch the all video, all versions of the IntelliJ IDEA, simply you have to click on this uh, other versions, okay? So you can see guys, these are the other versions. This is the latest version and these are the older versions. You can see over here, now we have to install the latest version. So for that, what exactly we, we have to do? Here you can see guys, we need to choose this IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition version. Why? Let me show you that part. Here you can see guys, this is the difference between the Ultimate version and Community version. So Ultimate version is a paid version. There is a lot of add-on features available uh, provided by the IntelliJ IDEA. But if you are uh, installing Community Edition, so this is absolutely free. If you are using this Community version, you don't need to pay anything. This is an important term basically I would like to tell you but it will provide you the less support but if you want to do the normal development if you want to do the automation then community version is more than enough for you guys so simple you have to click on this download options or if you want to choose the another option simply go to the other versions and here you can able to land it you can even choose the particular uh, version basically so uh, this is thing basically i want to tell you now here once i uh, once i click on this download option my file is automatically like your file is starting downloading like I already have the download file here you can see guys this is how your file is look like this okay so what exactly you have to do simple here you need to double click over here okay you have to double click on this dot exe file once you are double you are, you are going to click on this double click like uh, the setup welcome window should be open here let's wait for a couple of minutes and now here you can see the guys extraction is happening and here you need to click on the S yes button. Here you can see guys, installation setup window is, is opening over here. Again, you have to click on the next button. Here the path should be same, destination folder path should be same. Again, you have to click on the next button. Here you can see guys, the basic term basically I would like to tell you. So basically uh, what, spec, what the space basically required for an IntelliJ idea, the uh, at least minimum 3 GB space is required, okay? and the how many space basically available in my C drive that space they are showing to me okay now again you have to click on the next button once you click on the next button here you can see guys these are the options basically you will get now if you want to use the java project now most mainly we are using the java project so simply click click over here java that's it guys this is more than enough okay when this is done uh, now create if you want to create a shortcut then you can simply click over here these are completely optional, okay? These are completely optional. No need to select this these things over here, guys. Okay. Once this is click, uh, once you, once you select these things, now you have to click on this next button, and then you have to click on this install button. Okay. Once you install, uh, once you click on this install button, here you can see, guys. Uh, my my uh, extraction is basically happening over here. It will take some time, around uh, one, two, three minutes. Basically, it is going to take. Uh, but but uh, it is going to install shortly guys uh, let's see here the installation is going so on guys like my uh, IntelliJ ID is successfully install over here and what is that you have to do simple you have to uh, click on this finish button once you click on this finish button my IntelliJ ID is successfully installed so what is that you have to do you have to search you have to click on this search window search button and just search the IntelliJ ID option over here you can see guys uh, the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, this uh, version is popping up over here. Uh, again, you need to double click over here. Like you have to open this IntelliJ IDEA tool. Now you can see guys, like your IntelliJ IDEA is going to open over here. You can see uh, now 
what exactly you have to do now you have to accept the all terms basically whatever IntelliJ IDA is providing to you again you have to click on the continue button and once you click on the continue button here you can see guys uh, this is how basically window is opening over here now you want to uh, what exactly you have to do guys uh, like this is the IntelliJ IDA is successfully installed over here now you want to if if you are having an existing project simple open that existing project with the help of this open if you don't have an existing project you have to create a new project simply click on this new project that's it guys okay now once you click on that uh, uh, new project you can see guys the new project window is opening over here now you can give the uh, any name now here i'm giving what guys ganesh jadhav automation studio okay this is a name basically i'm giving over here java language i'm going to save that IntelliJ idea basically i'm storing and simply i'm going to click on this what guys new project okay once i click on this new project here you can see guys my new project is looking like this you can see guys my new project is loading up over here this is the java project basically i created guys okay which project basically i created java project basically i created and here you can see guys the java project basically created with a main file okay now you can create a simple class over here uh, or, or what exactly you can do guys you can simply run this program here as well with the help of this main method okay so uh, or, or if you would like to add the main method that also you can able to add guys uh, so this is how basically we can able to create a new project in an intelligent idea because if you want to add a main method a simple type type the main button over here and based on that you will get an option system dot out dot print and uh, hello Java. okay this is the text basically i'm going to add is that's it okay hello java okay and uh, uh, here you can see guys i'm going to run this project uh, i'm going to run this class and you can see guys uh, building is happening you can see on the console at the bottom of this intelligent idea and my hello java is going to print so this is how basically we can able to add we can able to install our IntelliJ idea from the scratch this is the latest version we have to install and this is how basically we can create a new project in an IntelliJ idea java project basically we can able to create that's it for today guys thanks for watching